what's going on you guys i got a little video here for you guys who do or do not know when you're using obs there is a setting for you to use the uh, nvenc uh, codec or encoding basically you can use it to record and stream uh, with obs or whatever program you're using that supports that which basically will use the gpu and not your cpu giving you more power more freedom no hits or anything like that uh, when you're recording it's really nice to have this option now with that said a lot of people use sony vegas sony vegas pro 14 doesn't optimize this 13 don't and uh, 14 i think i said don't but they have sony vegas 15 which does support it um but it still can take a bit to render videos now i like sony vegas i also like premiere pro and with premiere pro there's actually a plugin you can use to utilize this and make your renders a lot damn quicker so if you have a 10 minute video you have a 20 minute video you can cut the render times down significantly i'm talking you know 15 minute 10 minute video could turn into three to five minutes or less depending on the bit rate what you do, your settings and stuff like that, which obviously you would have to tinker with, but I'm just giving you an example. I render my gameplays and videos pretty goddamn quick, uh, even before this method, because I know what I'm doing. But this is for you guys who have this card, use Premiere Pro or want to try this out on Premiere Pro and get your videos done quicker. OK, so I'm going to show you what you need to do. OK, I'm going to have a link below. It's going to be a zip file. You're going to unzip it and it's not going to look like this. I'm going to organize it a little better for the video. Okay. But basically you're going to have MP4 box. You're going to have this Nero tool. Okay. So you're going to unzip that and inside will be files like these. Okay. I'm going to remove all this stuff here. I'm going to clean this up, but no worries. Um, you get these two you're going to need. This is, this file here is mp4 i just unzipped this okay and you just watched me unzip the near one now these here are um what do you call it these are the programs that you're the plugin that you're going to use okay so you have 1.11 version right here you have 1.11 uh, j3 which is a, supposed to be a better version to this and have uh, some fixes. And then you have 1.112. Now, this is a little sketchy because this does work for um, uh, all Adobe versions. I have, I think it's 2017 or 2018. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Okay. That's actually supposed to be renamed to EXE, I do believe. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So this has to go into the Adobe folder. You could run this too. If you use these and for some reason it does not work, you're going to need to run this patch. So I'll leave this patch here. Okay. Uh, don't be scared by the command prompt. You do need to move this over to your Adobe folder. Okay. And that's basically what I'm going to show you now. So let me bring up the Adobe folder. Now to get to your, where you're going to need to go, you can just right click the Adobe icon from the start menu, your desktop or wherever. Go to open file location. This is going to be the quickest way to get here because it's going to take you to take you to this main folder here. If not, go to your C drive program files, Adobe uh, plugins common. And then basically what you're going to do is whatever version to this you're, you want to use, you're going to drop it here. Okay. Version 12 does have uh, a couple extra things here. Okay. There's a readme file here that says uh, average build compiled for uh, requires uh, newer Intel CPUs, blah, blah, blah. So it tells you here what um, you're going to need to kind of pay attention to. Yeah, we can do this stuff here that tells you what you need to do. All right. If you don't feel comfortable using this, just use the 11 uh, JS3. Uh, okay. So when you open up this, you just copy over if you're on 64 bit or 32 bit. Okay. So you would take that file, copy it. Don't cut it and paste it. Just copy it. So you have that backup. Okay. And then you're going to paste it in the common folder here. As you can see here, I have two. I could probably drop the J3 one here if I wanted to. Um, 
Let's actually, let's actually do that. So let me make a copy and just rename this. Okay, so copy. As you can see, you paste it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close Premiere Pro because I had it open. And then you're gonna open Premiere Pro, okay? Give it a second to open up. And what this will do, I don't know if I said this already, what this will do is a cut down your render time. So if you have a five, 10 minute video, 15 minute video, 20 minute video, uh, this could cut it down, you know, for a 10 or 15 minute video, it could cut it down to five minutes, it could cut it down to three. It all depends on your settings that you do too. Higher the bit rate, the longer it can take uh, to render a video. But anyhow, once you have your, your project open, you added your videos and you wanna render, go to file, export, media or control M, bring up the media window. For some reason, Adobe Premiere likes to do this to me. It takes a second for it to open. Don't know why, I have to always open it up uh, twice, or go activate it twice, but anyhow. Uh, as you see here, you have the 1.11 J3 and then I have the 1.12. So it doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, again, if one messes up, try the other one. If these none of these do work, um, like I listed here, you're gonna copy this into that common folder right here. And basically it will patch uh, one of the files. I believe it's either here Patches one of the files here, or it's in the main directory here. Yeah, I think you have to paste it in the main directory here, and it will patch this file here, okay? If this doesn't work for some reason, you could try that too, okay? Anyhow, so effects, you're gonna wanna make sure these are off, unless you wanna add these. You're gonna go to Mixer. This is what you need to do in order for this to work. If not, it's gonna air out. You're gonna hit the MP4 box button here, and if you guys remember, I had the, let me, I included the MP4 box here, okay? So you're going to go to where you downloaded the files. If not, you can make that location on your main drive and drop it there, okay? But you're going to go to that MP4 folder, click on MP4, make sure that it changed, and you're done for MP4, okay? For the multiplexer, you're done. You're going to go to audio, you're going to hit the narrow, you're going to go back, you're going to go to narrow ACC codec, click here, click ENC, and you're done for that, okay? You don't need to mesh with the publishing unless you want it to go to YouTube or server or whatever. You have the NVIDIA selection here. You're not going to really worry about this. This is your stats on your card. The config you are need to, you do need to worry about. There's two different things here, okay? Uh, for uh, HEVC -E uh, or AVC, okay? So you put it on whatever. It will change the output format. But you come down here, you're gonna wanna put this to high quality, okay? This is a must. Um, if you guys wanna see, if you hover over, it tells you uh, high quality work will work out good for you, okay? Shouldn't have a problem. All right. Um, I believe that's all you mess with from this window, except for here, where it says rate control. You can either have this on variable content or variable bit rate, sorry, not variable content, but variable bit rate, which you can set it to do from 12 to 26. And depending on the video, it will tinker the bit rates uh, between those and find a good one. Uh, most of the time you're gonna want CBR, which is a constant bit rate. This is a must. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna scroll down. You're not gonna mess with any of these because once you change it, it will automatically adjust these. Okay, you don't mess with any of those. You don't turn on any of these. You come down to video group codec. Okay, uh, you leave these. Don't touch the codec setting. Okay, don't mess with that. Come down here, and here you have your uh, screen resolution. So I have this on uh, 1080. You can put this a square, you're gonna to wanna to leave that basically. You have your frame rate, okay? 
you have your field you're going to want to leave this to none and then here's where you have your target bit rate so i did cbr so i don't have two sliders if you do vbr you will higher qual higher bit rate equals better quality but will equal longer render time so i like to do mine at 25 you could do 15 you could do 20. Uh, youtube does recommend if you have the uh, bandwidth and earning that speed to do a higher um, bit rate for your videos so anyhow i have mine on 25 and then you will just hit export and then it will export your video well actually before you hit export you want to give it a name and you want to save it somewhere so you could just call it you know random vid okay and as you can see it says mp4 tells you screen res um frames per second uh, audio all that good stuff and you would just hit export and it will export i'm not going to do that on the video now because it's already 10 minutes but you guys if you do this you should notice a huge difference with your render time and before i go when you're done rendering if you guys know if you use any of these profiles here okay any of these when they're done rendering it does this uh, export thing and it could take 5 10 15 minutes okay it like takes the base file and sticks it into another one uh, it's weird how it it reacts now at the end of this render you're gonna have a little box come up you're gonna have a command window come up and it's gonna say processing it's gonna fly through if it doesn't fly through give it a minute to complete then you're gonna have another window and uh, that's gonna do the video that will take a couple minutes if not less uh, it all depends on your system and your your video and what you're doing okay so leave those go you'll still get quicker window times doing this than you would normally um, but i just want to give you that warning so if you guys go to render a video and you get two different command prompt windows that you're not flipping out and what the hell's going on it will output your video let them do what they're going to do and they will disappear and when they disappear you know your render's done all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video peace out and see you in my next one. Oh, before I go, if you guys got any questions, you can put them below. I have included everything. I'll probably make a little text document. And again, if you guys need help, you can comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you. But peace out and see you in the next one. We made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in May Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace. Thank you.